Shalom Chevra. Uh, here we are, coming towards the end of another week. Uh, and we're still talking about Derech Eretz and speaking, because, as we said a couple weeks ago, there's a lot to talk about when we speak about speaking. And speaking of which, um, it was pointed out to me that uh, I didn't finish off or, or give the, the punchline the story which I was telling last week uh, about the person where they're blocking my way, going through the parking lot, um, and with me honking, and you know, it's when we had a chance to actually speak about it, and you know, a calm voice, I explained that I, I wasn't trying to be hostile or anything else like that, and they were able to receive the words I was speaking to them. And I don't know if they stopped blocking traffic afterwards, but uh, hopefully they did. So, with that being said, um, we're going to jump into a little bit of Pirkei Avos. Apologize on another screen over here, so I'm going to be reading it off there, right? Um, and this is from the second parak of Pirkei Avos, which deals with, it's, it's almost a continuation, actually, of Tochacha, but really, how do we speak with others when we're giving Tochacha, right? So, this is uh, from Hillel, right? And it says, do not judge a fel- your fellow until you sit in his place. Do not say something that is not readily understood in the belief that it will ultimately be understood. Right? Um, and it's like, whoa. So, I'll tell you another story that happened after I'd already recorded last week's video. Uh, but before I went out, and I didn't add it on. So, I was out for a run. Uh, me and my dog, right? And for those people who know, I'm a small dog. For those who don't know, she's literally about this big, and she just loves people, and... and doesn't hurt anything except for she tries to catch the fly that's flying around and usually fails. Um, anyway, so we're running along and there's a guy walking in the opposite direction, same side of the street, uh, and he, I was afraid of my dog, and he started walking in the street to go around me and my dog, right? Like, we're ignoring him, we don't care. And so I told him, I said, look, um, you know, it, it's dangerous. It's really a dangerous thing. It's a it's dangerous for your life to walk in the street. A car is more likely to hurt you than my dog. Now, the way that I delivered this, right, and, and the fact is I, I didn't stand in his place, right? Someone who's acting like that, chances are they have a very big fear of dogs. And I could definitely say, I've been bit by dogs, not my dog. <laughs> it's not this dog, right? But I've been bit by dogs before him, but I don't have that fear. I've also been hit by a car. <laughs> That's something to be scared of. That's my own experience. This person's experience, he's not aware. And so the emotional side of it is going to be for him that a dog is scarier than being hit by a car. And that is somehow going to overwhelm his logic uh, and his, his, his capabilities and lock him up. Uh, in that situation, force them to go into the street. And I've seen this many, many times, unfortunately, uh, including small children running into traffic uh, and needing to yell at them to like not go into traffic. Um, right, and then, but we're not, we're not having a second of uh, shared. That was several weeks ago. We're dealing with um, how to speak with somebody else, how to actually convey a message, right? And so, and for me, when I spoke with these words to him, I thought it was just completely understood. Yeah, well, of course, cars are scarier than a small dog. Um, but that's me making an assumption without being in his shoes. And I'm sure that there's a reason why Hillel and there's other teachings that go in with this, uh, with this parak uh, or with this uh, mission as well. But there's a reason why I'm sure that Hillel put these together, right? The fact is, if we're going to be judging judging on somebody else, if we're going to try and give someone else to talk, to chacha, we have to understand, first off, where are they coming from? What their background is, what they may have heard about it, and then understand as well, part of that is that something that may 